I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a absolutely gorgeous. This piano is actually royalty. I found out just yesterday. I've been working on this piano for several weeks, and the the owner just told me the pedigree of this piano, which is kind of amazing. This was this was in L.A. at a recording studio at a at a big time recording studio. Um, I'm not a recording studio guy. I'm guessing that a lot of my fans, being being mega music pe music people, are uh, aware. It's called the Bakery. I guess that's a um, big time recording studio. I kind of feel bad that I don't know what that is, but I guess Ben Folds recorded Luckiest on this piano. It's kind of an amazing song. Adele recorded on this piano, and then he got it and uh, uh, from from the recording studio, and it was super beat up. We didn't we didn't actually work on the piano itself. We we did a tuning and and some minor stuff like that, but uh, but it was so beat up cosmetically that was where the uh, the this work was so let's check this out I mean if you can imagine in a recording studio like it was I mean you know there was gear everywhere of course this top right here I hope you can see with all of these lights and everything it it looked like people had been tap dancing on this on this lid and oh man Curtis Harper this guy is amazing he's he's our he's our main touch-up guy and he he worked on this piano um, until his fingers bled and it looks amazing the uh the legs check out these legs so so the legs were so heavily beat up i mean you can imagine at that height you know with after after years of of being in a recording studio where where people are focused on other things other than you know the piano these all three legs were just hammered he had to sand them all down respray them with with polyurethane polish them up and it looks awesome so hats off to curtis harper man he is good and then uh and then we did a little bit of work on the inside there were there were spots where the microphones had been clipped onto the plate onto the struts the main the main strut that uh is it the, at the first break um, i mean you can still kind of see it but but it's like just vastly better if you if you know it's there and you look for it you can you can tell but overall it just i mean it's basically invisible this was like these were like giant white gouges where where the primer of this of this paint was was like showing through really really loud and clear so um, touch that up too and you can see all of these all of the metal hardware is all polished and everything um, so Oh baby, that looks good. sounds great too this is a really really sweet piano i mean the, the c7 is kind of your standard recording studio piano except for except for recording studios that focus on classical music they'll have a steinway b but basically everybody else whether it's country or rock or pop or you know whatever they or just you know recording studios that that cater to local the local population that wants to make you know the a local cd or, or a i got not a cd anymore a, a recording for for their grandma or whatever they'll have a c7 and for good reason they're they're awesome pianos we actually have a couple of them coming in that we're going to be rebuilding here pretty soon so beautiful beautiful work <sighs> looks like a brand new piano